So here's a question that definitely is going to show up in the AP Cal exam. I don't know what form it shows up in. <clears throat> I don't know if it shows up on the free response section or the multiple choice section or in some variety both, but I guarantee you this type of problem is there. So we're asked to find the equation of the line tangent to the graph of f of x is equal to 2 sine x plus cosine 2x at, at the point pi 1. It seems like a lot, but this is really very, a very straightforward problem, so let's try to work through this quickly. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do here is just take the derivative here of, of f. So we're going to take f prime at x. Remember here that 2 is a constant multiple, so I'm just going to take the constant multiple here. Then I'm going to take the derivative of sine x, and of course we know that's cosine x. And if that's bothering you, you should stop for a second and go back and memorize those formulas because it's really, really important. And then of cosine, the first derivative of cosine of 2x, or cosine of f of x, is opposite sine f of x times f prime at x. <clears throat> so look at that for a second. So as we start to take that, the first derivative of cosine x is opposite sine x, isn't it? So it's opposite sine x, but it's sine of 2x, right? Sorry, of 2x because that's the function on the inside, times the derivative of the inside. And the first derivative of 2x is just 2, isn't it? So just to re rewrite this, I'm going to rewrite this as f prime at x is equal to 2 cosine x minus sine, so you look at this, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, isn't it? So negative 2 sine of 2x, <clears throat> and the reason I'm saying all that, leaving these blanks, is this, that we know that we're going to we're going to need to come up with an equation of the line tangent. And they give us this point, and they say it's the point pi 1. So this is obviously the x value. So what I'm going to do is take that. I'm going to take 2 cosine of pi minus 2 sine of 2. This 2 is this one, 2 pi. And that's going to be our derivative. So what we're figuring out right now is what's the derivative at, I'm sorry, what's the derivative at pi? Well, by with looking at your unit circle, hopefully you have this memorized. Just here's our unit circle right here, isn't it? <clears throat> and here's pi over here. And the cosine value is, it's, is the x value, and the sine value is the y value. So we know that cosine of pi, this is the point negative 1, 0. So we know that cosine of pi is negative 1. So we have this 2, 2 times negative 1 minus 2 sine of 2 pi. So 2 pi is right here, isn't it? This is 2 pi. And sine is the y value, and this is the point 1, 0. So the sine value is 0, so negative 2 times 0. So the, what do we get here? We get this. We get that f prime at pi is equal to negative 2, because 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. From there, it just gets really, really easy. And these are the problems that people give up on, but this is really free stuff. We're just going to go to this. We're going to go to point-slope theorem. So here's point-slope theorem. And then we're going to fit by fill in the blanks. Right? So we know x sub 1 is this value that they gave us right there. That's pi. So here's pi. Right? We know that y sub 1 is the y value that they gave us. So it's 1. <clears throat> we calculated the slope ourselves. And we, we found out that the slope when x is pi is negative 2. So we take out this here. We put this in here. And this on the AP exam for a free response question would be a good enough answer. Some people would change it a little bit and make it look like this to negative 2 times x minus pi, and all they would do is just take this negative 1, add 1 to both sides, and get 1 here. So here's our answer. I don't think that was really, really difficult. So going back really quickly, what do we do here when we're asked to find the equation of a line uh, tangent uh, to the graph at a point is first we take the derivative. So first we took our derivative. Second, we take the derivative at a point, right? Thirdly, we go to point-slope theorem. I hope this is helpful. I promise you guys, if you're watching this, that this kind of stuff shows up on the AP exam. And it shows up enough times that it's one of those problems that when you look at it, it should, you should be really excited and happy because this is a problem that you can really prepare to be successful on. So that's the key to, to passing the AP exam is to make sure that we get those questions that are kind of give me. So we have to put those in the bag. So good luck, you guys. I hope you've subscribed, and I appreciate your comments.